Hey y'all, welcome back to the garage. Today, we're going to be showing Plan B here a little bit of love. We're going to take the crank trigger ignition off of my old 39 cubic inch modified and put it on here. Hopefully make it run a little better, a little stronger. So hang out and uh, we'll get the wrenching. Alright y'all, if you guys follow along on the Pro Mod engine build I'm doing, uh, you see me set one of these up on it. Uh, this is just a little different style, but goes on the same way. This, this is your trigger unit itself. It just bolts right on. In my opinion, this is just a much for much more superior ignition system than the stock uh, especially when you're running high rpms and it just this one just takes four bo four bolts right in the end of the block and these are five sixteenths bolts so all right there's that Alright, I'm going to grab my little impact, tighten them up, and uh, then we'll get the magnet ring set on there. So, hang on. Alright y'all, in that last clip, I had it upside down. Um, noticed it when I went to tighten it. So, and it does kind of matter. So, I mean, if you set your magnet ring up right, it wouldn't matter. But, uh, well that's... I want to do it the way that I, I had it on the 39. So we're flipping it over. All right, now we can tighten this sucker up. Not too, not too much. Just a, just a little ugga dugga there. Now we'll check them by hand just to make sure because this is an aluminum block. Okay, there. Now we just gotta route our wires up through and across and go back to the back air. We're gonna pull the stock coils off and put the uh, other coil pack on. So let me get the camera moved around and over there and we'll do on that. There you go. While we're on this end, I'm gonna go ahead and put the magnet ring on here and let's see if you guys can see there. Uh, this ring was off of my 39. It's got an inch and a quarter crank. This is an inch. Uh, so I made this bushing up to uh, take up the gap because I didn't want to buy a new ring because I already had this one. And what I did is this is a steel. This is a steel bushing. So I drilled holes. There's Allen set screws that hold this thing on there and there. So when I made the bushing, I went ahead and if you guys can see that in there, I went ahead and drilled all the way through it. So that my Allen set screw there will actually contact the crank. Now to set this up, uh, there's the magnet right there, and Kohler does this really cool thing where the number one cylinder is lined up with your with your uh, uh, keyway. So we're gonna get that back on there, and you want you don't want it touching the plate. You want it out just a hair and take my Allen wrench here. I'm 
and we're gonna yep that's pretty close now we'll turn the motor over because I can't get into the bottom one here but I'll turn the motor over and tighten that just snug it up because we're gonna have to adjust it um, once we get the coils on I'll get my uh, dial or my uh, my timing yeah you guys know what it is I'll get that thing put on there and we'll get this thing dialed in uh, I want to set it right around 36 degrees before top dead center so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera moved over we'll get the coils put on get the wires ran and get them secured and then we'll uh, come back and time this thing now got the old coils removed uh, there's the mounting bungs for them we got our coil pack here and this one mounts right on where the old coil those old stock coils are at so and you can actually use the old mounting hardware too so makes it really nice super easy to do just run them two screws in there and then I'm gonna go around the other side and I'll put those ones in and tighten them get everything tightened up but there's the wires for the there's the wires for the uh, pickups and we'll just bring them around and of course you got your you got a white one, a black one, and two red ones. The two red ones are the hot going out to the to the uh, triggers, and one black, the black one and the white one are your left and right, your number one and number two. You just got to go out, make sure that which whichever ones on each side of the cylinder, or yeah, each side of the cylinder, see each side of the block, is the corresponding to the you know here's your center center one's the positive. These two are the signal coming back from the coil so uh super easy uh like i said let me go to the other side get those bolts put in there and uh get them all tightened up and then we'll start doing some wiring all right y'all i got the uh wiring all hooked up here and i ran it around here to a i got just a switch over there for the ignition I uh, will be getting a different switch. I don't like that one, but that's what I had. So, and we tied it into the accessory of the key. So, um, that's uh, I guess I got the wiring all done. So, uh, next is we're going to install the degree wheel and uh, get it uh, ready to go. So, we'll put you out front here where you can see, and we'll show you what's going. All right, y'all. I got the. Engine set uh, top dead center on the number one cylinder over here. I got the degree wheel put on, got it degreed into zero. And what we're going to do is this no this engine normally spins uh, counterclockwise when you're looking at it from the PTO end here. So I'm going to roll it until I get to 36 degrees before top dead center. should be right about there all right y'all I got that got we got it rotated there to 36 degrees before top dead center uh, I'm gonna take the uh, degree wheel off now so I can get to the magnet easier and we will set it for the where it uh, where it's gonna trigger the ignition so give me a second to get that degree wheel off and we'll bring you back all right, y'all. Get down here. Break this loose. Now I did have the I did have the engine locked in into position. So when I took that bolt out of the end of the out of the end of the crank air, it uh, it couldn't turn. All right, I'm having difficulties this long uh, Allen key or Allen wrench I'm gonna grab a shorter one we'll bring you right back all right y'all 
Got me a just a standard Allen wrench. Alright. Now right here is the center of the magnet. I'm gonna bring it over. Maybe if I get the Allen loose enough, there we go. I'm gonna bring that over and just about center it on that pickup. So It's a lot easier, harder, easier to do when you're not have the camera set set up, because I can be right dead in front of the motor here, engine, whatever you want to call it. I picked the hardest one to one that was turned all the way out to start with. <laughs> all right, there we go. Now we're snugging it up, maybe. All right. All right. Get this one here. Come on, Alan, let's get in there. Having trouble, y'all. Struggling. The struggle was real, my friends. The struggle was real. Snugged up. We'll lock her down. All right. Make sure that one's locked down. All right. We're locked and loaded. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna dump a little fuel in here, and we'll get this thing fired up, or see if it fires up. We'll bring y'all right back. All right, y'all. Make sure it's out of gear. Make sure my fuel is turned on. Key in the on position. I'm going to prime the fuel pump, or prime the carburetor. Okay, our carburetor is primed. We're going to turn it over, and then we'll hit the ignition. So. to make sure this coil's good and uh, I mean we had one pop but uh, that might just be one cylinder so I'm gonna grab my spark tester and uh, I'll uh, check this to make sure she's got good spark on both of them. All right y'all after a little investigation figured out that uh, that key switch when you turn it to the start position it's only hot for while it's in the accessory when you put it over the start it doesn't give power to the accessory. So, I'm going to have to tie in someplace else to pick my power up. Um, I don't want to come right straight hot off the battery continuously. Uh, I may put a main in with a relay or something. Uh, don't know what I'm going to do yet. Uh, maybe temporarily just do wire it straight into the battery to make sure the timing and everything is good on it. But I'll get it straightened out. Ain't no big deal. Uh, so, we're going to have to do the uh, startup on the next video. So, appreciate y'all watching. Hope you uh, grab the understanding of how to install and how easy it is to install crank trigger ignition on these. Uh, how to set them up, you know. It, it seems complicated, but it's not. Once you, you know, once you do it or seen it done here, uh, it's not real hard at all. Um, in the next video, uh, we'll do a little, get a little bit into more into timing. Uh, I'm gonna put a counterbalance on the front starter pulley. Starter pulley. Uh, which with has, it has timing marks on it so uh, we'll be able to make sure that this thing's in time so anyways appreciate y'all thanks for watching if you would please go down there and give me a thumbs up 
uh, feed the algorithm. It's free. It doesn't cost you a dime. It does help the channel out. It uh, lets YouTube know that uh, people are liking the video and they should show it to more people that aren't subscribed and maybe they'll subscribe and we can grow the channel. So appreciate it. Stop into Sunday night 7 p.m. live stream. Uh, hang out with us. Do a little, little, little yakking. So anyways, appreciate y'all. I'm rambling. Catch y'all in the next one. And as always, keep wrenching.